it's Liv and today I am bringing you some vegan budget friendly meals. So throughout the video I'll be doing a bit of a cost breakdown so you can see about how much these cost but keep in mind that things cost completely different prices. Some of you might not have the ingredients so you can always do substitutions and just keep in mind that the cost will vary so don't take this as exact prices. Before we get started, I just wanted to ask the question of the day, which is what is your dream travel destination? So it could be somewhere that you either want to visit or you have already visited before. Let me know what yours is below. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So the recipe for these biscuits actually comes from Minimalist Baker, so I will put a link to that below. But basically here I'm just showing you how to make them and how easy it is to make them. So all you do is make some vegan buttermilk by combining some non-dairy milk with lemon juice. And then in a big bowl just add your flour, baking powder, baking soda, and then just using a fork or your hands you crumble in some butter until it makes a crumbly consistency. Some vegan butter and then you just add in the vegan buttermilk mixture and stir it until it forms a dough. So once you have the dough formed like this, it will be a little bit sticky, but you're going to set it aside while we make the pot pie filling. So all you need to do in a medium pan is add some onions and celery, along with some frozen vegetables. Here I just have green beans, peas, corn, and carrots. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of flour and a cup of non-dairy milk. Then add some sage, parsley, and black pepper. And then you're just going to stir that and simmer it on medium heat until it thickens like this. Then just add that to an oven safe casserole dish and spread it all out until it covers the bottom. And then you're going to take your biscuit dough and form four biscuit shapes with your hands like this. They don't have to be perfect, of course. And then just lay those on top of the casserole. Then just bake that at 425 for about 20 minutes and when you take it out it should be this perfect flaky biscuit and creamy pot pie mixture. This taco salad is super easy. The first thing we're going to do is to make the little tortilla strips. So take a tortilla and cut it into strips. It really is that easy. And then I put it on a baking sheet, and I did this in my toaster oven, but you could do it in a regular oven. I just drizzled on some olive oil and sprinkled on a little bit of sea salt, and then just toasted that in the oven until they were crispy. Then in a container or a bowl, I did this in a container so that I could take it for lunch with me to class, but you're just going to add some lettuce and black beans, corn, tomatoes, green onions, avocado or guacamole, and some salsa. All of these ingredients on their own for the most part are very cheap and you can substitute whatever you need if certain ingredients are more expensive where you are. I think the most expensive part of this would definitely be the avocado, but if you have Walmart around you, sometimes I can get five avocados for five dollars, so it's a really good deal. This curry is my favorite curry recipe. You guys have been requesting one. So this is what I do when I make curry. I just take a potato and a carrot peeled and chopped and I cover them in vegetable stock. And then I just boil that until they're cooked. Then I add in some other veggies like bok choy, peppers, onions, whatever you like, and cover that with coconut milk. Then I just add some soy sauce, about a tablespoon, and about a heaping teaspoon of curry powder. And if you like yours a little bit sweet, I like to add some maple syrup or coconut sugar. I just add it at the end if I need it. So then you're just going to simmer all of those for about five to 10 minutes until the other veggies have softened a little bit and all the flavors have a chance to mix together. I love serving this with rice or noodles and a little sprinkle of chopped cilantro on top. Just feed me. Where am I gonna sit? This is gonna break. We're trying the curry as the taste test. Mm. 
Awful. You should not go into acting. Is that potato? Mm-hmm. Or something. And Dr. Libra does it in the opening scene too. Oh laugh and this is especially delicious. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I spit it all back into the bowl, so here you go. Uh. I was trying to like make fun of you and then I realized it wasn't like that's not what you did at all and no. then I cracked myself right up. This is the worst taste test. That's good. Mm. I'll just hold it here so I can eat it. <laughs> mm. This curry is really good. One more. You can't really go wrong with this. Like you can just put any vegetable in it and it will still taste good. Wait. It's missing a uh, spiciness. Mm. Not very spicy. I just use hot curry. It's a little bit messy. It's really good though. Don't make any chewing noises or else people will get mad. What do you rate the curry? It's good. I give it 10 out of 10. For a non-spicy curry, 8.5. Maybe more rice. Yeah. It's like a- yeah, That's all I had left. But more rice would make it more hearty. Because it would just be more carbs. We do like carbs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you make any of these recipes, make sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Lives Healthy Life. Also, I have moved my website over to a new host, so it's still liveshealthylife.com, but if you go on it, you'll notice it looks a bit different than it used to. So if you sign up for the email list, there will be a link below, then you can get free recipes that won't be posted anywhere else, including my YouTube channel. So definitely sign up for that if you are interested in getting more recipes. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Time.